Welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to train YOLO V8 instance segmentation on a custom dataset using Google Colab. This powerful technique allows us to identify and segment objects within images. So let's dive right in. Before we start, let's make sure we have access to a GPU for faster training. We can check this by running the command NVIDIA SMI. If you don't have access to a GPU, don't worry. You can navigate to Runtime, change Runtime Type, set it to GPU, and then click Save. Let's run the command now. Great! Now that we have our GPU set up, let's move on to installing YOLO V8. There are two ways to do this, from the source for development or via PIP. PIP method is the recommended method. We'll go with the PIP install method for simplicity. After installing YOLO V8, we need to import the necessary libraries. Let's import the required libraries. Ultralytics is the core library we'll be using. Now that we have YOLO V8 installed and ready to go, let's move on to preparing our custom dataset. Building a custom dataset can be a time-consuming process, but luckily, RoboFlow makes it easy. It allows us to collect, label, and export images in the proper format quickly. If you don't know how to prepare a dataset for training YOLO V8 instance segmentation, you can watch my previous tutorial on how to prepare custom data to train YOLO V8 for instance segmentation. The link is given below in the description box. Let's create a directory for our dataset. For this tutorial, we have a dataset with 299 images of aluminum defects, such as corner defects, dents, scratches, and more. These defects are annotated in YOLO V8 format. If you're following along with your own dataset, make sure to place your zip data file in the home directory of the notebook. You can easily upload data to the home directory as you can see. Let's download and unzip the dataset. Excellent! We now have our custom dataset ready for training. Let's move on to the next step, custom training. Let's run the command below to train YOLO V8 model on the custom dataset. Here we have multiple options for models to fine tune like YOLO V8 Nano, YOLO V8 Small, YOLO V8 Medium, YOLO V8 Large, YOLO V8 Extra Large model. For this tutorial, I will select YOLO V8 Medium model to fine tune. This process might take some time, depending on the complexity of the dataset and the number of epochs we set. Let's get back when once the training is complete. Great! The model is trained. Now we can check the training results by running these commands. Let's run these commands. Next the validation step allows us to assess the performance of our trained model. It will provide us with valuable insights into how well our model is segmenting objects. Let's run the command. After validation, we can move on to the final step, inference with our custom model. Now that we have our trained model, Let's perform inference on some test images using our custom model. This will allow us to see how well our model can segment objects in real-world scenarios. Here are a few examples of the inference results using our custom model. Amazing! Our custom YOLO V8 instance segmentation model has successfully identified and segmented objects in the test images. This demonstrates the power and effectiveness of YOLO V8 in handling custom datasets. In this tutorial, we covered the entire process of training YOLO V8 instance segmentation on a custom dataset. We started by ensuring GPU access, installed YOLO V8, prepared our custom dataset using RoboFlow, performed custom training, validated the model, and finally, conducted inference on new images. I hope you found this tutorial helpful in understanding how to train YOLO V8 instance segmentation on your own custom dataset. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more exciting tutorials, 
and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.